Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Career Mode Debacles. This is Kay Nordic, and this is probably going to be my final Career Mode Debacles episode. And that's only because, uh, as I record this, tomorrow, uh, April 27th, um, they'll finally release it. So, version 1.0, uh, which I really can't wait for. But with all the changes uh, on that, I figured I'd have to make a new series as well. So in this one, we're just going to finish up this mission and uh, go visit our old stuff afterwards. Uh, so first off, uh, picked up a Explore Bob. I forgot I needed some landers out here, but that's all right. I am going to try to land one of these uh, satellites on Bop. So that is uh, what our main goal is, and then the rest of them we're going to be putting around orbit, around lathe and pole and and all that, even though I don't have any missions, but it doesn't really matter because I'm be ending the save file and uh, starting something new for the next series. So that'll be exciting. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's just get started. I figure I am going to take this little guy right here. Actually, no. This one has better control, so I'll take this one. And undock it. Um, probably try to switch to it. I don't know how that works. Let's see. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did that right. We're backing away. Backing away nicely. Alright. So, let's find out how to get to Bop. Bop is that little wonky, weird little planet right there. So I'll set it as target, and I will finagle uh, a course to get out the Bop, and then try to land this thing. I believe the gravity is low enough on there to, for me to maybe be successful. <coughs> Excuse me. At least make just a satellite survive, so I can complete the mission and actually feel like I accomplished something. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. Anyway, I'll be right back. Alright, had a little accident. I wasn't going to detach these uh, off, uh, off recording, but it happened by accident. I realized I had to manually activate these engines. I almost staged this thing off and that would have been a disaster. But yeah, we got ourselves an encounter. About a four and a half minute burn. So let's get to it. We'll do some uh, time acceleration. Uh, so we'll be doing it about uh, 2 minutes and 16 seconds out. Right? <laughs> ah, stop. Okay. That's worked. Uh, that's one of the new features I heard they're going to put in, uh, you can actually uh, preset where you want to time travel to, and not have to worry about stopping in time, because that is, this is like a once in a million burn, uh, we're getting ready, and fire. And we should have enough fuel, I hope. But anyway, I will bring you back in once we are getting closer to Bop. Let's see if we can manage that landing. <laughs> and cut throttles. All right. What did we get? What did we get? Let me see. Uh, not exactly on target. But let me see if we can't fix that by a little RCS maneuvering. Because we're right in the ballpark. Trying to get those two nodes to meet up. Right in the ballpark. And boop. Oh, that's not... Let's see if we can... Yeah, 766 meters out ain't, ain't that bad. <laughs> and we still have lots of fuel for landing. Turn off that RCS in case we don't 
in case we need it and I don't waste it all. And yeah, you can see all the <laughs> different moons. There's Lathe. I'm not quite sure which one that is or that one. And there's Jewel. Magnificent Jewel. And we're heading out. To Bop. Alright. Let's just go ahead and fast forward it. Okay. And I'll be right back when we're closer. Okay, we are a bit closer. There is Bop right there. Uh, but I have a bad feeling about this because our approach is actually towards Jewel, so our ability to slow down enough for an orbit may be a little bit uh, cutting things a bit close. I didn't really think, like I never do. What am I thinking? Let's go. Let's get a little closer here. And let's just. Okay, let's put a little maneuver there and find out what it is going to take. be sure. And what it is going to take to put ourselves into orbit. Mm hmm. That's what I was afraid of. Whew. Okay. Well, that just went wonky right away, didn't it? Okay. Kill that. What if we start it early? Any difference? We just need it to wrap around. It's not going to make much of a difference. So, six and a half minute burn. Oh, gosh. Let's see our fuel then. Uh, that was four minutes. Ooh, that's going to get close. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, actually, we need to just start burning now, don't we? What am I doing? I am not even lined up. See, I'm panicking. Oh, that's not good. I'm panicking. Great. Yeah. Have it been on a an approach going away from away from Joel? This would have been a lot easier. But Jewel is pulling us in. Started my burn, and I'm just gonna close my eyes and um, and see what happens. <laughs> see you in a bit. Wish me luck. Uh, talk about cutting it close. <laughs> We're um, actually doing something now. May not have enough. My fuel is doing okay. I guess. We're right up on the periapsis. <clears throat> And this thing is starting to bend a little bit. Man, that was insane. And in case you're wondering, that little uh, cassette tape right there, that is a uh, Kerbal Engineer. I think it allows you in career mode to get these... Uh, just keep an eye on that and get these uh, this little information up here in the in the corner. Uh, not sure, otherwise they don't seem to do anything. They kind of look cool on a on a spaceship built in the 70s. Okay, we are getting ready to stop burning. Whew. And you can see our quest up here, our mission. Stop. Okay, now we are officially in orbit around Bop. We successfully made it with very little fuel left. Uh, where is it? Oh, there he is. There he is. So well, let's go ahead and get some scientific data from out here. 
I guess we'll just do one of these. And just go ahead and transmit. <laughs> and out comes the fun part. Can we land? Uh, once I am... There shouldn't be that much of a trouble. Okay, let's just continue burning and land on this thing. See, so now it's easy. Just stop and start. Okay, can I focus on this thing? Yeah, it's basically a little asteroid. So let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> try to land. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely going to speed that up. Oh, we're still gaining altitude. Okay, now we're dropping. Okay, I'm going to have to do something here. Can I say control from here? Uh huh. Okay, so I got a little... What is going on with my controls here? Weird. Let's go ahead and drop some more. There we go. Stop, oh gosh. Way to go. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys think? Success or no? <laughs> ah, stop, stop, stop. Remember, we just need that satellite to survive long enough to send some sort of science back. Alright. Do, 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 do. Oh, fade in the graphics, new textures, nice. Okay. We'll slow ourselves up a little bit, see how much it takes. Not too bad. Let's forward a little bit more. my terrain uh, terrain altitude right here which really helps okay okay my fuel is not looking so hot Actually, slow down with my uh, RCS. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. What's our altitude? Fifteen thousand meters over the terrain. Probably not very. Okay, that's good. Oh, come on. Okay, I can warp any faster. This could be a little crazy. I'll just use these for now. How much RCS do I have? I'm just about out of RCS. That's a that's a nice view right there. Our 
Yes, nine, eight, seven, six. Not bad. Let's go ahead and fire those. Attention. Good thing there's daylight here, though. Like I said, the gravity is really low here. Um, yeah, probably time to see the info. Oh, that. Gravity zero point zero six of Kerbin's uh, gravity. So just a fraction. What I should have done, uh, which I'll probably do next time I'm sending something out to Jewel, is make little tiny landers <coughs> to go out to the various moons. I could probably fit ten of them. Okay. How's our fuel? Terrible. Don't want to go back up either. There's a hill, naturally. Oof. Oh, let's not go back up. <laughs> well, land on Bob, let's just go ahead and transmit some information. Transmit data. Awesome, we completed it. Now I'm just curious if I can actually get this thing into a low orbit. And that'd be awesome. Let's go ahead and do it at 270. I don't think I can. But we completed the mission, so let's give it a shot. So my web is 20. That's good. Okay, I will... Uh, Cut right here and see if I can do it. When I bring you back. Okay, we're so out of fuel. I'll just uh, oh, look at that! <laughs> awesome, I got it in orbit with that little fuel. We'll we'll leave it at that, right there. And then we actually have what I like to call a satellite. So let's get rid of that. And extend the solar panels. Yeah, 
and extend that. Oh, <laughs> awesome. That calls for a screenshot. Oops, I said extend it. Not transmit data. Oh, can I extend it? Oh, oh well. Calls for a screenshot. Yes, awesome. And off to our other three uh, satellites. Let's get to it. See you in a bit. Okay, for our next uh, little satellite, we are going to see if we can't make it to Vol. Now that is one planet I haven't seen much of, so we're going to Vol. We'll set that as target and see if that'll give us a maneuver. And this time I'm I have sort of learned my lesson. Uh, look at that lathe just wants to be uh, wants to be found. Lathe wants to be found. How about this way? Which would be just perfect. <coughs> yes. So as this one looks like, I'm going to be going around the first pass, which is away from Jewel. Eh. <laughs> and that should make it an easier... It should be easier to slow us down in time. If I run out of fuel. Alright, so I will see you there. Bye-bye. Or talk to you in a bit. <laughs> oh, man. I uh, messed that up again, and it's calling for a 10 minute burn, but at least I can figure it, uh, we, we get to see them. <sighs> Space travel, not as easy as it looks. <clears throat> uh, yep, so there's uh, a vol. Never been one. Kind of reminds me of uh, Minmus. Minmus, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> 10 minutes. Yep, I just had to start burning out here, and hopefully I have enough fuel. But if not, we have a satellite going into space. Let me just get rid of this. Maybe it has some mass, and you guys didn't get to see it last time. And... Nope. And... Yeah. It looks cool, doesn't it? I didn't notice the clock. You guys will probably tell me if uh, that has changed. Um, but yeah, I'll bring you back in if I'm successful, or we're going on to the next one. See you in a bit. And success! We are in orbit of Vol, or Vol, or whatever you call it. We got a beautiful view of Jewel and Lathe. I forget which one that one was. <laughs> and yeah, so let's get rid of our engines. And... Uh, Extend these panels. And we'll just send how much science we can. Back to base. Beautiful shot. <laughs> Good. Transmit data. Very nice. Very nice. I think I put one of these guys on here, but I'm not. Log temperature. Oh, send that. Very nice. Not sure why I did that. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get to the next one. Next one, and I'll be right back.
Time to undock. I'm not control from there. You nuts. No. Undock. Switch to it. Whoops. Well, that's a little disorientating. Okay. So it's on, and I believe this is one of those crooked ones, and where up is right, and right is down type of thing. So yeah, let's bring this one to lathe. Let's do it. <laughs> we'll target that bad boy. He is right there. Set him as target. Add a maneuver. Oop. So if we can we uh, get them that way, nope. We're probably gonna have to shoot for it right about here. Of course, I got nothing but encounters before. I bet it's right there. And I bet I'm right. <laughs> Ugh. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Ah. It's my distance, 688, and we can adjust that when we get there. Uh, so let's get to it in about three hours. <laughs> and I'll see you in a bit. I figured I'd show you something I like to do when I'm uh, traveling to planets and speed up and watch it get closer. <laughs> and stop. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Let's see how we're doing for maneuver this time. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. 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 Four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, a 12 minute burn. <laughs> yeah, it's just burn right now. And see <laughs> when we get there. Sheesh. There we go. There's Lathe getting closer. 12 minute burn. I might as well go make lunch. <sighs> right. Uh, see you in a bit. All right, I'm going to see if uh, actually uh, this makes a difference is getting rid of these uh, canopies here. I'm going to watch a time. And stage. A little bit. A few seconds. <laughs> All right. Well, now we know. Science. Unfortunately, I got some bad news. We did not make it in orbit around this, um, but we got a good view of it nonetheless. Um, didn't realize until I was out of fuel that I should have actually aimed for uh, arrow braking, since this uh, moon has an atmosphere. Um, anyway, yep, we are on a collision course. No, actually, we're maybe sometime in the future they will make it oh well it's all set oops let's switch to this one again and we'll plan out what we're going to do here what I want to do actually is crash this main stage main ship in to Jewel. So with that, I'm going to transfer all the available fuel I have and hopefully, oops, out. And hopefully that will be enough. Not sure. Oh well. Let's 
beautiful so this satellite will remain in orbit around Joule so let's undock that switch to it let's back it away just a little bit it wrong way see up is there we go Whew. almost just killed our mission <laughs> so yeah with the, no fuel here we will go ahead and just just stage that extend the panels the paddles the panels and we do have a satellite around jewel can I get I don't know why I can't do that right now <laughs> it's pretty bizarre I can't get any sign well let's just Send all the science we get, transmit that, and very nice. And let's see if we can't just de deorbit this uh, sucker. So that'll probably be right, right about there. <laughs> you can see my trajectory of. The Jewel Explorer satellite is going somewhere. We'll find out later. Well, let me find out if I have enough uh, fuel to deorbit this, and I'll be right back. All right, for the last of the episode and this season of uh, Kerbal Space Program, we are crashing our Jewel rocket into the atmosphere of Jewel. We made it. Even though I didn't get it in orbit around uh, lathe, I still think this went pretty well. We made quite a bit of money. And to think that uh, I'm actually kind of proud of myself to get this far with the uh, difficulty set as high as it was. That includes um, uh, not being able to quick save. Or you can quick save, but you can't quick load. Um, and of course, everything uh, rewards as low as you can get. <laughs> It's quite, quite a challenge. Um, it is fun to play, but it may not be just the greatest series because there's no progress. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the series uh, so far. And I'll be back with you guys um, with version 1.0. I can't wait to see what, uh, what Kerbal Space Program has to offer. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the crash. And I'm going to sign out here, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.